Four hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General Enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. Grandmaster de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispard? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. What the hell were you thinking? How dare you defy the truth? Next time you shut him in the council, I'll rip you a new arsehole! While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Guillaume. Ah. Uh. Go then, see what you can learn. But no more rash action. Hm? Yes, mentor.
This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you? No. And if you're smart, you let it lie. What's that supposed to mean? Just that some folk don't like people prying into their affairs. Time worthy is dead under Tiberius to praise Brutus. Caligula condemned those who were so sacrilegious as to undress before the image of the emperor. Once tyranny invented the cry of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic. Who could have dared to think that it merited a punishment more gentle than death without rendering himself guilty of the same crime? I do have other business to tend to. Or Grandmaster was a monstrous human being. And desperate invented in its turn the crime. I don't like it. The plan is still too vulnerable. And let's not forget that the man is still out there somewhere waiting to burn us all at one state. It's not necessary that they offer him blood and bring him down to their level. The monsters who serve us. That's the thing about assassins. Point them at a temporary They ask no questions. All right for the kill. Predictable, aren't we? Come, we'll fetch the captain and get started. It's a simple question. Just tell me what I want to know.
You finished? Fair enough. Now, here's the thing. I can go on like this all day. But you, you've got an hour left in you. Two at the most. Half if I bring out the sharp bits. So why not skip the end game and go directly to it? Tell me where it is, and all this can be over. What was that? You're a smart man. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. You heard the weasel, boys? belongs in the gutter. Sloppy. Someone might have seen. Who? Watching the whole place. They'll deal with any good Samaritans. They better. The Grandmaster won't be happy if the whole plan comes unraveled because I want dead pee on. The great work requires patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Siver and the Wadetun. Oh, Siver and Loire already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Serbrat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Serre will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Elise. Clever, Grandmaster. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully. <laughs> Catch him! Watch the exits. The spy will be making a run for it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Elise! 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 Damn it. Where was it? Hotel Voisin? Merde. Un amant surpris par le mari. What's going on? Where is Monsieur Lafreniere? He's dead. What? Go! I'll explain later! Get her! Cut them off! Kill her! No way past this one! Shall we? Let's! Is that your turn? <laughs> out again. I'll climb up and take a look. Dead end. 
can't see a damn thing in here. How the hell do we get out? They must be in here somewhere. Over there! No! Wait! Damn it! Oh, That's right four! Right and now for the fun bit! Get out of here.